You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. So you may on Twitter the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Lust Shards. Yo, I love this game series, and y'all do too. I am having so much fun playing this. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy it for the next 16 minutes. Want to entertain you? Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Ah, oh, yeah, the voice I was doing for Aiden. <clears throat> Alright. Mm -hmm. yeah, water, water, water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Water been had. Let's do it. Alright. Not so fast, kitty cat. You have detention, or did you forget? What? No, that's not fair! I came here to hang out with Travis, not be bossed around by you. You are already lucky enough nobody got a hold of you until now. The luck ends here. <clears throat> Dallin, will you take care of him, or should I? Tate, if you want to live, I think you should come with me. Okay. I'll leave Travis comes with me. Oh, come on. Are you saying Travis has to stay with you in detention for you to behave? How is that fair? It's fair if he decides to do it on his own volition. Right, Dallin? I, su <clears throat> I suppose so. I mean, I have to be there. Maybe with someone else there, it won't be so miserable. What do you say, Travis? Should I go to detention with Tate and Dallin? Why not? That sounds, that sounds like fun, actually. Just spending time together in a room doing whatever. And if Dallin will be there, I'd be a fool not to follow. Detention? Fun? All right, weirdos, have your fun being stuck in a room for hours. I'm not sticking around for that. See ya. See ya. Aiden walks away, mumbling angrily to himself. Tension, my ass. I guess the three of us will have all the fun. Come on! <clears throat> I guess the three of us will have all the fun. Come on! To the destination, to the detention, uh, to the destination room, to the detention room! Woohoo! Tate is way more excited than I thought. He holds my arm tightly with both paws all the way there. Seeing that, Dallin decides to try and do the same. He does have to crouch just a little so that he doesn't lift, doesn't lift my arm in an uncomfortable position. It's not the most pleasant of situations for my paws, but the purrs and tail wags that hit the back of my thighs make it bearable. So, how far away do we go? It's just around the corner. Uh, and what do you usually do in that detention? Um, just waste time? And get bored to death. I usually just take a nap. And I keep an eye on him not to run away. We arrive in front of yet another simple looking door. We go inside. Dallin closes it behind us and turns towards some kind of machine on the wall. Looks like what some people use to clock in and out of work. Come on, you know what to do. Tate grumpily says his full name to the machine. Also the time. Tate Foster. September 2nd, 2036. I whispered to Dallin, uh, what and why? It's a special detention tool so students can't skip on detention. Especially when I'm in charge. It was only installed at the end of last, at the end of last year. Believe me, I'd love to let Tate go with a slap on the wrist, but we can't. But we can't because of this. Once he says his name and date, the device is going to track his presence in the room. It's the stupidest thing someone could ever make. It's it is killing me and my plans. But today you're here, so it might not be so bad. All right, come on. Before we start doing anything, the door opens yet again, and Aiden walks in with his hands in his pocket. He looks embarrassed. None of us say anything. We just stare. What are you all looking at me like that for? Um, what brings you- You know that stupid cat can teleport whenever he wants. I'm just- Here to make sure that doesn't happen. I wouldn't dare teleport away. Anyway, I- I just get more detention time. Glad you decided to join our weirdo group. Whatever the reason might be. Sure. He takes a seat in front of the class. Places his feet on the table. On the table, takes out a ball from his dimensional pocket and throws it up and down repeatedly. He's so cool. Old cool, old school cool. The rest of us sit down at the, one of the tables. Well, me and Tate did. The tables were small to fit three people, especially someone his size. But my mood brightened when he pushed his when he pushed his table against mine, so we could come cl come be closer. All right, I'll take a nap. Wake me up when this is over and practice is about to start. Wait, what? What did you need me to? Do? What, what did you need me for if you were just going to nap? Well, you have to hold my paw. I'm oh, sorry, wrong voice, y'all. Nary's a little out of it right now, a little loopy. 
Yeah, some water will help. One second. Come on, you. Looks like we're going to get some really cool looking art here. Well, you have to hold my paw, obviously, so I don't run away. Uh, he takes my paw in his and looks at me with puppy eyes or kitten. Am I really going to say no to this? Fine. If we're here already, might as well. My words barely escape my mouth and Tate is already snoring. Oh, I love this art. Thank you for doing this, Travis. It's nice to just relax and not have to hold him in place. Or it, or it on him. My pleasure. Do you have to do this often? Not very. Not very, just for Tate, because he's a little more complicated than others. But he's one of the only students to get detention, so I suppose I should say yes? Are you the only one that deals with his detentions? Doesn't seem fair. Oh no, and only until the teachers come to campus and we start having actual classes. I take detention duty off my paws. But again, until then, kind of yes. I look at Tate's paw in mine. That position does not look very comfortable for him. Heh. He can let go of his paw. He's a heavy sleeper. I put his hand away and feel him stir for a second. Then he's peaceful again. Sweet relief. I feel a little sorry for Dallin. He obviously didn't he obviously doesn't know how to say no, which is exactly why I feel bad. Combine this with the overworked factor and the way his colleagues suffocate him, I'd argue he needs a break. I need to help him and show my appreciation. How do I do that here in detention? As my mind wanders through different ideas, my eyes drift towards the window. A grand old tree attracts my attention. We're not too far up, just past where the trunk where the tree's trunk ends and its branches begin. A small shadow blocks the sun blocks the sun that's hitting my face for a fraction of a second, bringing bringing my moment of meditation to an end. What was I get up and approach the window, looking for whatever just flew by. Tate continues to sleep undisturbed. Aiden looks in my direction, but continues to do what he does. Dallin decides to approach me. Uh, something wrong? I thought I saw something. Uh-oh. He opens the window and raises his ears. The only things we can hear are the wind moving the tree's branches. Students shouting in the distance and birds. And meows? Oh, scanning the surrounding area, I see a family of Tresums. Or more like two very loud cubs that just can't wait for their mama to come back home with food. Aw, babies. Dallin seems to like them as well. I mean, who wouldn't? They're just kittens, but with wings. I always wanted a Tresum pet. My mom was against it. How so? I don't know, she's just strictly against it. We had a goldfish once, and he died, and we never got another pet again. But we were never even given an explanation. She just seemed distressed. Hmm, weird. Did you not take care of him properly, perhaps? But I did. He was completely fine, and the next day, boom. Gone. Sometimes I wonder if she might have tried to recover her own mistake. That is so much not like her. Pets weren't allowed in my, in my family either. Though those would distract my brothers from achieving perfection. You have brothers? Several, yes. I'm the second youngest. Are they as charming as you? Heh, <laughs> hardly. How come you... Down stops mid-track as the shadow comes back and it crashes in one of the tree's branches. I now have a clearer view of what it is. It's... Um... Down, what is that? No clue yet. A flying stingray slash butterfly frantically flying through... Trying to fly through the many leaves and branches. Suddenly it screeches and dives down. That's a night fallen! Aiden shouts. It seems we got his attention as well. It's going for the cubs! How the fuck did a nightfall and get inside the barrier? I don't... Dallin! Do something! I don't know where it is. It's moving too fast. Aiden just got here and barely knows what's going on. Dallin must be overwhelmed and doesn't know where the nightfall and went. Tate is still sleeping like a rock. Guess this one's on me. What should I do? Act. Screw this. I'm not going to stay idle and watch. What can you possibly- Whoa! Wait, wait, wait! I place my feet on the windowsill and cast my strength and speed boosts. The only spells I know that are actually somewhat useful. And with my and with a big wind-up, I jump. Travis! What the fuck is he doing? Adrenaline is rushing through me. The jumping was strong enough to get to me to one of the branches, but I still need to get to the cubs. Thanks to my increased strength, I can pull myself up and use some of the other branches as monkey bars. I can hear Aiden and Dallin freaking out by the window. I look down for a second and... Oh, my ball, oh, sweet babies. Oh, man. Height is suddenly so much scarier when you're at the risk of falling down whenever. The night falling is getting closer. Less and less leaves in its way to, way to stop it. I won't make it. Scribbles, do something. I don't know what you want me to do. 
anything, you'll get discovered. The creature is now in full view, and it's uglier than I thought. It reaches its target and enters its jaw, revealing rows of sharp teeth. One more jump between me and them, but it's still too far. I'm sorry, little ones. Boom! The night falling gets intercepted by a golden wall, then captured in a cage. No, not captured. The walls of the cage close down more and more. The night fallen is cracked, squished, mashed, destroyed. Only until smoke remains in its place, and the cage disappears. Found you. Leaving me hanging beside the little babies that are still meowing for food. Like they weren't about to be food themselves. Lucky, ba lucky little bastards. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. My first reaction, obviously, is to pet them and see if they're okay. Whoa. As soon as my hand reaches their nest, it dissolves into smoke along with the cubs. What? What happened? What did I do? Did I kill the kittens? Relax, I think they were fake. Either an illusion or summons of a sort. Oh, thank God. But, why? Beats me. Consult the other two idiots. I look back towards the window. A worried wolf and tiger looking at me with eyes full of relief. How about that? How do I get back? The emotions and adrenaline are gone, making making being in a tree much more frightening. I don't look, look, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. My claws are planted deep in the tree's bark. Can I have some help, please? I think a snow leopard would be really good at climbing. Another golden object, this time a bridge, appears from my feet to the window. Sweet! Dallin's powers are awesome, and I don't even know yet what those are exactly. I get back to them, he immediately takes me in another hug. That was so reckless, Travis! And brave! And noble! You saved them, Travis! I can't believe you would do something like that to save some animals! Is he crying? Or at least shedding some tears? Whatever he does, one thing's for sure. He's crushing me. I gotta get him away. Thankfully, he lets go after my next comment. I didn't even do anything! You were the one that killed the Nightfallen! But I wouldn't have been able to if, if it would have... find it without you! Your sudden movements through the leaves and branches made a clear path directly to the kittens. Letting me catch it. It's true. <clears throat> it's true. Even if I still think it was kind of stupid to jump like that. You did save them. I'm so happy hearing them praise me. I almost forgot. Oh, by the way, the cubs disappeared. What? Oh no! Don't tell me I caught them in my cage, too. No, no, no. Don't worry, it's not that. I approached them to see if they're okay when suddenly they burst into smoke just like the nightfallen. Even the nest. Aiden takes a look out the window to, to the burrow and the, the, the cubs were in, now completely empty. Strange, then. Does that mean they were summons? Or illusions? Or someone teleported them away? We look at Tate, still, still storing on the tables without a care in the world. Maybe not. But why? That's what I was asking. Hey, did the night did that night fall and drop a crystal when it was destroyed? Oh fuck, I don't remember. No, it didn't. Are you sure? Yes, I can't lie, remember? I'm certain it had no crystal inside it. No, no it didn't. I'm certain. So somebody made a fake night fall in a fake tressum nest. I think we were messed with, Dallin. You mean somebody played a prank on us? Travis could, be, could have been in real danger. To be fair, I don't think he can be in any real danger around you. But it was a mean prank to pull. That's true. I find out who did this. He clenched his fist with a determined look in his eyes. Is it going to be the little shit that's sleeping or pretending to sleep? He clenches his fist with a determined look in his eyes. I don't think it's a reason to fry our brains over. Maybe you're right. Still, summoning a nightfall on Academy grounds is forbidden. So prank or not, they still broke the rules. Should tell that to your shard members. They'll find the bitch that did it in no time. Fantastic idea. Wait, no, don't. Nobody here nobody hears about this, got it? I'm not too excited about telling anyone, but still, why so? Because everyone, especially the stupid new headmaster, will overreact for sure. And I don't need the drama right now. Dallin's ears look like they're about to fall. Hearing the word stupid and headmaster in the same sentence must have been hard for him. But we still have to explain this mess. Look at the broken branches and fallen leaves that cover the grass below. I think Travis was aiming for the branches, not the summon. Me and Dallin laugh, and even Aiden lets out a chuckle. 
We go... We, we go back to what we were doing before the chaos erupted. Got an idea? What idea? Uh, about how to get out of here with the wolf. We've been thinking about all the, we've been thinking that about that all this time. While we were still having a crisis? Oh please, it was two cats with wings. The world would still spin without them. Heartless. Did I expect to say anything else? Whatever. Spill it. All right, but only because this detention is already me is already boring me. A nightfall attack is not entertaining to you? A fake attack, you mean? Not really. Okay, you ready? All ears. You get out of detention and leave the cat alone. Okay, and then? That's it. That's the plan. It's not very helpful. It's logical. What is he? A toddler? I'll call him that. You were literally holding his paw a minute ago. He's a grown-ass adult, at least when it comes to our species. He has to face the consequences of his actions alone. Just give him a stern talking. Get the other two and have a threesome outside the door to show him who's in charge around here. You seem like the voice of reason until that last part. I want to get down now, but not by hurting anyone's feelings. Weak. I'd rather be weak than a monster. Second idea, then. Why well, that might be just as fun. Hmm? You play truth or dare with these guys. Truth or dare? Truth or dare? Yeah. As far as my research in the movies department went... The presence of that silly game is responsible for almost all drama and plot points of said movies. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribing, that notification bell. We have a super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!